Dragon Ball Horror Kaiju and more. Steven Story Reviews. Hey there, collectors, it's gonna be Steven here, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball review where we are continuing the 2023 SDCC exclusive reviews with a review of the Majin Vegeta exclusive edition. Very neat, Vegeta is going to have a translucent head sculpt with metallic paint application for the hair. Very nice, this one actually is rather interesting when it comes to execution. So Vegeta here is going to also have a new effect part with a Super Saiyan 2 aura effect that came with the Super Saiyan 2 Goku exclusive edition last year. Let's not delay because a lot of folks want to know if this is going to be worth adding into their collection. So uh, let's look at it. Before we get the review formally started, let's talk about how you can get these. If you're at SDCC, you'll need to go to the Marina Terrace for the Dragon Ball Activation Event Area and pick up a purchase ticket, then go to the Tamashi Nations booth 3329 and make your purchase. If you're not SDCC, only surface level details have been announced at this time, but some leftover stock will be available at the upcoming Tamashi Nations New York store, which will be opened up soon, and then orders will be open on Premium Bandai starting in August for delivery at a later date. I'll have links for the Premium Bandai site once they do go live. For further information on all of that goodness, you can follow Bandai Collect social media and the Tamashi Nation social media at the different outlets on your screen right now. If you're going to the convention or you're playing along at home and you want to check out all of the latest updates at SDCC, head on over to en.dragon-ball-official.com slash special slash SDCC 2023, or you can use the short URLs that have been up on the screen so you can check all the latest information and prices for not only SH Figure Arts, but all things Dragon Ball at SDCC, including the card game, figure eyes, and more. Additionally, as I stated before, you can follow Bandai Collect and Tamashi Nations on their socials found on the screen. Without further ado, let's jump into the review. So, I think I covered the looks of this guy pretty much in the intro here. Nice! <laughs> yeah, so a lot of the newer releases for the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball line are using a, a nice printing method for their faces, and that is something that has been used years prior, but they're getting a bit more nearly pinpoint accurate, which is rather impressive. Though one of the things I will want to really focus on is going to be that translucent head sculpt for the hair, and it is really, really cool. Now, when you add in the metallic paint application for the hair, admittedly, when we have things like the recently released uh, Vegeta 2.0 repaint, or we even have the Super Saiyan 2 exclusive edition Goku from last year, they're not quite exactly doing the exact same thing as this, or even Gohan that's released in this bunch as well, or the World Tour Goku that was also released this year, but they all kind of look similar, and it is nice to see the different ways they're able to have a nearly matching effect going on, which two thumbs up there. Now, Vegeta otherwise looks rather solid, and when we get into the accessories as well, we're going to see a consistency of quality across all of the faceplates. Basically, what I'm trying to do here, because I have to show you the 360 spin view and the individual shots, is padding this just a little bit. Eh, I'm outing myself here. But overall, Vegeta does look rather solid. Articulation-wise, Vegeta's pretty much unchanged over the years, which is rather fine because the articulation is good. Uh, there's something I'm going to talk about closer to the end, but let's go ahead and break it down. Now, for the neck articulation, I think showing is better than telling here, so let's go ahead and easily just pop Vegeta's head off because I prepared for this ahead of time. So, the head is going to plug in on a ball joint, and then that ball joint leads into a hinge, so this way it moves forward and back. Then, that uh, is going to be plugged in on a swivel, so this way we can spin that whole joint system around. The neck is then going to be on a ball joint system, so this way we can move the joint around like so. So there's going to be a lot of joints here, and the way that I like to pop the Vegeta heads back on is going to be removing the faceplate first, and then making sure we're nice and seated in. All right, we are good to go. And then, uh, yeah, pop the head back on. So Vegeta can look up about that far, and look down about that far, thanks to the joint system, and of course we can rock from side to side. Now the reason that I show you that neck system, and specifically that hinge, is you can't really force the neck to go one way or the other sideways, unless you 
play with that hinge system, turn it around, and then do something like that. Hope that makes sense. So yeah, just make sure you are careful and you don't break it like some folks have done. Now, for the shoulders, we have a little butterfly hinge here that allows you to move Vegeta's arms forward and back like that. Uh, not really up and down, but thankfully, we do have the usual ball joint that plugs in there. Allows you to spin the arms around, no problem. We have a hinge that allows you to raise and lower the arms, which is great. The usual stuff. Dedicated bicep swivel, which is good. And we have a double hinge elbow. His, uh, his nice bulky muscle there does block the range of movement just a bit, but hey, it works just fine. For the wrists, let's go ahead and pop this off real quick. We have the usual style here for the joints where we're going to have a peg that plugs into the forearm for a swivel, a hinge, and then the hand's gonna plug in on a ball joint. So you are gonna have to move that swivel around in order to get that hinge to change direction. So let's go ahead and pop the hand back on. And this is also to show you that is how you're going to change out the hands. So pop that back on, okay. Ab crunch, which is gonna be a ball joint, which allows you to twist and turn Vegeta's body. Just a little bit there, which is nice and good. Do we have a pop-up? Oh, look at that, we do a little bit, and then we can pop them back down, which is nice to have. We have a waist joint, which is going to allow you to swivel him around and rock him back and forth a little bit. As you can see there, it looks like it's gonna be a hinge system accompanied by a ball joint to get some rocker movement as well. That's what it looks like, and if I recall, I think I popped my original Majin Vegeta apart. I may be wrong, but just go ahead and play it safe with swiveling and hinging, and then use this for your ball joint movement. For the hips, um, if you disassemble them, you'll see that there's going to be basically a ball joint that plugs in that allows you to move the hips forward and back like so, so we can get just straight forward and back kicking movement, which is good. We do get hinges, so we can do the splits, dedicated thigh swivels, spin all the way around if we really need to, double hinge knees, ankles, double axis or barbell style joints for ankle joints, and then toe hinge, about that far. Yeah, so there were some folks who were upset that this was not an update, a renewal for Majin Vegeta. Uh, the way I see it though, this is meant to be a repaint to get this specific body style, this specific mold back on the market for folks who either missed it or just want another one. And I think it's fine because this articulation scheme still is good, uh, but better is better. I'm not gonna take that away. I think this is fine. So suffice to say, this figure is still good and moves just fine enough. Okay, time to take a look at the accessories and Vegeta comes with the work. So he is gonna come with two alternate sets of hands aside from his default fists. He's gonna come with his left and right hand parts, so this way he can use the Big Bang attack with either his left or right hand parts. He's gonna come with a right hand part, so this way he can use the Atomic Blast. He's gonna come, like I made mention, with an aura effect with lightning bolts from it to recreate his Super Saiyan 2 aura, and he's gonna come with four separate faceplates aside from his default. So let's go ahead and take a look at those faceplates where we are going to have the default where he's kind of angry and he's, you know, looking right at the camera. Okay, we have that. But then we are going to have his laughing, his cackling face, where if you played the Budokai games, you know that this is going to be the face he has once he unlocks that Majin energy. We are going to have that smirking face where he shoots off the Big Bang and kills all of those people in the stand at the World Tournament. Nice. Then we're going to have an angry faceplate, which, okay, that's classic Vegeta. We can also have this for his final atonement. I suppose. Then we're going to have a faceplate, fans of the line will like this one, where he's going to be looking off to the side so he can accurately recreate the Atomic Blast, or that's not its name? Uh, doing a little bit more deeper research, apparently a final impact. Uh, I was under the impression it was Atomic Blast for years, so yeah. But anyway, you, you know what it is. So great. So for the Super Saiyan 2 Aura, we'll go ahead and bounce over there real quick because the hand parts, they've been staples for Vegeta for years now. Uh, this is going to be the same one that was included with Goku and those lightning bolts effects, those are cool. They pop into the four separate holes that are gonna be on the Aura and they're actually inserted into the tray the way you're supposed to put them in. If they're not, then I read the instructions wrong. But nevertheless, very cool, but... Keep in mind, they are relatively fragile, and I have seen some folks, when it comes to Goku, they did tend to break them if they were not super duper careful. So, 
My rule of thumb, if you are struggling with any sort of action figure stuff, make sure you are using heat instead of forcing so you do not break anything. So with that being said, here's going to be a 360 spin view of Majin Vegeta doing his thing with the Atomic Blast, because that's what I know it has. All right, so that effect part is actually um, another one that I had laying around, and I used some blue tack so this way it fit in all right nice so for vegeta here the only realistic thing that i could say to add in uh, because uh, for 70 bucks i think this is a great uh, amount of accessories and i think that's going to uh, conclude the review overall for my thoughts um i think vegeta pretty much comes with anything but it would be great if we did get an atomic blast part maybe that will be for the eventual renewal of some at some point for this vegeta um, but other than that, I think it's great. If you need effect parts or support stands, you know, I have videos to help you out. Now, before we finish out the review with a comparison with the original release, here's going to be a size comparison with all of the SDCC 2023 exclusive edition releases. And you can see how well they'll stack up with some other figures you're going to have on your shelf. Just so this way you're able to see, I'm going to include the 15th anniversary World Tour Goku alongside these as well. Just so you can see how well the metallic hair paint application stacks up between all of the releases. Overall, I think rather fine. All right, so here's going to be a side-by-side -side comparison with the original Majin Vegeta. As you can tell, there's a complete difference in coloration for the hair and for parts of the body as well. So nice. This is going to be a stark difference between the two, and definitely they will be able to stand out and apart from each other on the shelf. And now we're going to do just a very, very quick uh, head swap section here not a whole lot to go on here just because of the skin tone difference yeah so if you were looking to do that here's a small section for that so buy now skip or wait for a deal again like all of the exclusives for dragon ball this year you're going to have to go over to the marina terrace pick up your purchase ticket then head on over to booth 3329 that's Tamashi nation's booth and make your purchase there worth it 100 percent, no doubt about it i would say even if you have the original release can't get enough of that Super Saiyan 2 aura, and Vegeta's just a good figure. I know some folks are waiting for a renewal of this where we have some of the more so updated articulation and engineering, but honestly, you can't go wrong with this. If you're looking to get Majin Vegeta, if you missed out on the original, or you just need another Vegeta body, this is a good one. All right, and that's going to wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I do want to make mention, make sure you are following the official channel. So for social media, make sure you are following on Twitter at Bandai Collect and at Tamashi Nations. On Instagram at Bandai Collect and at Instamashi and on TikTok at Bandai Official. Thank you to Bandai Namco Toys and Collectibles America, specifically the folks at Bandai Collect for coordinating sending this out for a look for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will be at SDCC. So make sure you stop by and say hi. Thank you again. I'll catch you in the next one.